Welcome to the Bear Den. How are you doing? I am doing fine. They said it was going to be this snowstorm and blah, blah, blah. I went out early this morning after I came back from the night shift. <laughs> okay. And doing my seasonal work, if you haven't been here. And uh, I saw a little bit of snow. It was so small. I said, is that snow? Okay. I heard about it, but is that it, really? And it looked more like rain, but it was just little, tiny, teeny, weeny specks. And then it quit, and that's the end of it. The grass is still green. The sidewalk is still clear. There's flowers coming up around places that don't know that we're going into the winter season, but that's the way our weather has been, and that is fine with me. Okay, that means not doing the driveway. That means not doing the sidewalk scraping. Okay, I'm fine. I can do this. I can do this or getting somebody else to do it. It's just more money in my pocket, right, instead of plowing out everything and whatever. But I hope you're having a great day. But also, those weather people are sometimes like other people, what the new word is fear fear mongers you know we're we're running to a whole lot of them okay they're they're scaring you to death it's going to be this and that i bet everybody went and bought all the salt up preparing for this snowstorm that is not here and there's fear mongers this is going to happen this is going to happen i've been listening you know i finally i you know i told you i'd gotten youtube tv and i haven't been able to look at it and when i did look at it some of the people you know i wanted to see like some of the talk shows and stuff i hadn't seen and they were just on and on of course we had the election this is going to happen that's going to happen and blah 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 and i'm like okay shut it off keep my 70 some dollars or whatever and don't need that, <laughs> okay? I do like when I can turn something on and look at what I want to look at. Yeah, I know you're there, <laughs> okay? But people voted the way they wanted to vote. And like I told you, you vote your heart. You vote according to were you better before or are you better now? And some people were better now. They're okay. And other people, they were not. So that's the way it came out. And this is the longest, what, we voted, what, the fifth or something? And we're still talking about it. Well, I'm not talking about it, but everybody's still talking about it. I'm like, move on. <laughs> move on. But I'm going to move on. I'm not going to sit there and worry about it. Because as far as I'm concerned with God on my side and your side, if you believe in him, it's going to be all right because I told you, you are to save this year. Get fortified, okay, for the future right now because next year we're going to have a struggle. There's going to be a little struggling going on, but it's the golden year. It's considered the golden year, okay? So we don't need to fear even if it wasn't a golden year, but we don't need to fear. It's coming. We're going to be all right. Okay. The happiness is within you. Happiness depends on you. Nobody can make you happy. Yes, you may have kids that make you smile and puppies and little cutesy little things. They make you smile, but that's because something within that section makes you happy. You may love flowers. That makes you happy. Nobody personally can make you happy but you. And sometimes you have to figure out, how am I going to be happy? Well, our life is like, like Mount Everest. People climb that mountain, although I'm not going to ever. <laughs> Maybe when I get to heaven or something, I'll fly across it, but not interested, okay? But that's what makes them happy. Some of them have a struggle. Some of them fail, and they come back two years later, five years later, or the next time. They pay their 11000 and up dollars. As a matter of fact, inflation has hit it. So they said in 2025, it's going to be $115,000 to climb it. But that's their happiness, that's what they want to do. Some people's happiness is I just want to pay off my debt so I can do something. That's their happiness. That's their goal. They're getting to their joy. That's going to be their happiness. You got to realize that goal and any goal you have is hooked to your happiness. 
your struggle is hooked to that goal. You have to take your time and be like you're climbing Mount Everest and realize you're going to fall back sometimes. You may not be able to keep going. You may It may be a longer way to go. You may have to stop for a minute because something has happened. There's a snowstorm. There's an avalanche. There's something in your way or just physically tired. And we have to keep going. You are Mount Everest and you are climbing that mountain, right? You see it. If it's money, you see it. If you're trying to start a business, you see it. I'm climbing up. I may have some stumbles, but I'm going to get somewhere on that mountain and be happy. Our ultimate goal is to be happy. And it's to be loving and kind to one another. Now, some people are not. And so, you know, those boulders, you just go on around them and keep climbing. And don't worry about it. You know, look for some happiness. Depression is bad this time of year. And some people have all year depression. It never leaves. And they have to try to find a way to keep going through the struggle. And other people don't seem to have time for those people. Or those people don't want to talk about it. It's perfect. It's okay. It's their right. But... Everybody has to find their happiness. That's why you're here. You have to find joy. It may be something stupid as looking at a plant and you say, boy, that's really cute. I'm going to take that home or I'm going to grow one. It may be a artificial plant, but it's something that you like. Everybody else may go, why you got that stupid plant? It doesn't make any difference. It brings you joy. That plant brings me joy. It's going to be right there. I don't care how stupid it looks. To you, that's your problem. You go find happiness within you. Or a candle. Or just something. You know, maybe you want to wrap Christmas presents for yourself in January and try to remember what you're going to get, you know, in December. What did I wrap up? You may be by yourself. You're finding happiness. Some people like to be alone. Some others don't. So they have to go find their happiness outside. Or maybe they're a phone person. They love to talk on the phone. We can't knock people's happiness. We can't knock people's dreams. We can't knock people's decisions. It's just going on and on. We have to learn to ignore. If you don't want to follow on the road that I'm on, stop arguing about it. It's okay. It's okay to disagree. It's not okay to be mean-spirited. It's not okay to name-call me. It's okay for you to be human and to be upset, but also it's not okay if you can't get over it. We have to find and make our own decisions. We have to find our way. And some ways are not popular, And some ways are long overdue. Sometimes we can't go with the status quo because it's messing us up. And sometimes long-held traditions aren't working for us. We're a different generation. Each day you are different. And each day people are learning more and more history and reading and everything, mostly because of the streaming thing and YouTube. They're beginning to get different views. Not that they're all right, but they're hearing now both sides. You got to think less than probably what? I want to say almost 30 years ago, not even quite then, there were three television stations. YouTube wasn't here. And it wasn't what it was, is now. What was it, 2012 or something? It was, I can't remember, 2002, 2012. I got to look when the original was. But it wasn't what it is today. And you had no views. You just were playing games. You know, there were startups starting. You know, you didn't get the full force. So you mostly, even before then, you had mostly three television stations. ABC, CBS, NBC, and PBS. That's all you had. Unless some people would set up some little antennas and you could get some other stations from far off somewhere. But that's the only view you had, so you were committed to that. 
And so when you're with the older person, you can't blame them for staying where they are. You got to try to educate a little bit softly because they will rebel because they've been with the status quo. Sometimes it's like, my mom did this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. It's like a recipe. Okay. Your mom made a recipe, a cake recipe. You looked at that recipe and said, okay, I'm going to change the butter in the recipe, the margarine. And then the next time you get the recipe, maybe your daughter or son starts to cook, which is totally different from your mom. You know, the men didn't cook most of the time back then. So now he's gotten in there, son and daughter. Let's add, let's try this. How about olive oil? How about cayenne pepper? You know, just changing stuff up from a recipe that's been going passed down in the family. And we're supposed to deal with that and learn off of that. Maybe you don't like it, but you don't have charge of crushing people's dreams. You're not God. And people think they're God. They think they're little gods running around here. You do this, you do that. No, 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 no. You're not God. And we have to make our own selves happy. Like I tell you with budgeting, you can't budget the way I budget. You can't do what I can't do. Da, 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 da. Yep. You don't have to have, you may like a certain car. I don't like it. That does not mean I can't coexist and still be friends with you. You may actually tell me, look, look how long I kept this car. You know, look, look what's there. You know, I may come to your side. We have to get our own happiness. When you go out, and actually look at the world when you go out. Some of you just walk out the door. You, didn't, you don't look at the clouds. You don't look at the grass. You don't look at anything. You just, I got to go to work. Here I am. Everything's different every day in your life. Cars go in different patterns. You walk differently. You woke up differently. Some of you were in pain when you woke up because you slip on something, a leg or your finger or something. Everything changes. But find your own happiness. Get that key thing of your happiness. Get your goal cited. If it's money or more money or helping people or doing something differently because you're just tired of it. Maybe it's a new wardrobe. I don't know what you want to do. But get your goals in mind. So that you can get happy. If you want to save money so that you can go out and do something. Because for years you have not did anything but work, work, work. And and don't worry about the past so much. We have all lost money. Okay, we've given away so much money. Or people have stolen money. It's just, you know, I've heard the stories. I've got stories Money I should have saved, fooling around, money I shouldn't have spent paying for folks and they didn't give it back. We got stories upon stories upon stories, but we are transcending those stories because those stories back there keep us from doing damage to ourselves in the future. Yes, maybe you could have bought that house sooner if you hadn't did this. Maybe you should have studied more in school, but you decided to sleep all day. And now you're in this position that you don't want to be in. Change. That's all you got to do. Change. You're not with the status quo. Change. So today, let me get myself together over here. We're going to do the green sheets. I found the house booklet <laughs> and I put it in clear binder because I couldn't find it. It was just like, where isn't it? And they had stowed it away. The children, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah, the children had stowed it away. So we're going to do this today. Okay, everybody move over. And I think I got $17. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, here we go. Happy days aren't here again. Yeah, they are. Okay, here we go. Number 
15. I think that's the last one back here. Am I right? Yep. And that is landscaping and trees. And we got a dollar here. Yeah, we got a dollar. I'm going to put that back there. Okay. 15. Oh, well, that's next door. How's that? 15. Do I see a dollar? Yep. We are getting ready for 2025. You got yourself together. You know, some of you getting new binders and new this and that. I saw that new stuff coming. And some of them have already started early on 2025. I thought about it and I went, okay, just hold on. Is that song? Hold on. All right. We got 25 there and 25 there. So let me use the green sheets. Little thingy majiggies. So we got 25, and that's a marker instead of a highlighter. And that means I'll be putting twenty um five dollars. I have if you haven't been here, I have buckets in my um accounts, and one of them is called the green sheets. They're named after different people. I got frugality as wife and just different people's channel names so that I remember. Okay, you can go in there. And 14. Who is 14? Let's see. Okay, one more. 14 is the laundry room. Let's see. Do we have a one or a two? I think we are got twos. I don't think we have any more ones. So we're going to put $2 in here. Or in the back. In the back goes two dollars okay next one is one again so we're finished with the front again and so that's another twenty five dollars for that and i just keep doing it and i wipe them off and i just keep doing it. i decided just keep doing more money more money come on out of here no And she has these prop money, this prop money. There's 20. And we need five. There's two. There it is. That she made for me. All right, so 25. So we're finished with this again, and we'll wipe it off. Because like I said, you know, I got... 130 I have to get prepared for to pay off my house. So it's all right. So 18 means that I have to go back here to the scratch off. I mean, the um, what do you call these things? Mini me's. Let's do the turkey. Okay, so the turkey. Let's see, where are we at? We're at, so we'll, we'll put 10 in here. Okay, no more turkey today. All right. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Cinco. And the living room. Yeah, we have graduated almost to the twos on that one, I think. But we're at a dollar right now. All right, where are we? Number eight. Ocho. And the 12 week. And that is who? The bedroom. Do we have any ones or are we at the twos again? Let me scan quickly. Okay, twos. We're going to be up to the five soon. I'm going in order. Okay, here we go. 12. 12, 12, 12. All right, we're at the den. 
And I see a one. Uno. Or, uh. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? Come back here. I said no, I'm not coming back. And that's a, this is the nine, six thing. So I took the top nine. I said I was going to remember, do the top. Instead of guessing, top button, that's it. So do we have a dollar on here? Yeah, I see one. That's okay. Where are we at? The number is two. One, two, the roof. The roof. The roof. Woof, woof. It's on fire. Do we have one here? To watch these little bitty ones. Okay. I think we're at the twos on this one. I think these little roofs are so cute. See, my happiness. I found a happiness. I like little roof drawings. All right. Number nine. The top again. And that was the guest bedroom. Right. Okay. Put a dollar there. Do we need two dollars? No, I see a dollar. Ha ha. Da ha. There it is. Woo Twenty. We don't have a twenty, so guess what? We get one of these over here. We didn't finish Halloween, but we'll do that. And so that'll be four dollars. I can do two, three, four. Bye. I was gonna do, so I had enough for that. Okay. And we got one more dollar. If there's a two dollar, it's gonna be an IOU quickly, right? Four. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four. If not, we'll just take a little green sheet thing because we're still going to fill this out. Okay, two. So it's the green sheet day of prop money. That's okay. Let's see. I had a bunch of two. I got the two all out of order. All right. So two back there. We are finished. No, not. Oh, there's two dollars. Never mind. <laughs> Didn't pick it up. All right, here we are. We are done. And I will count those and make sure we're in order because I put more. If it's like $50 total, I'll put 50 try to make sure everything's arranged. But I'll do that later. So anywhere, or, or wait, is condensing. Condensation? Condensing? Yeah. So anyway, take care. Love you. Love yourself. Find your happiness. We need joy, especially this season and this winter season. Everybody doesn't have sunshine. Even when they have sunshine, sometimes they're just depressed and they don't feel it. Things are happening. I know you're struggling. I'm praying for you every day. Blessings to my subscribers, the new and the old ones. Blessings to everybody looking on the channel today. May God take care of you and everything you do and with everything you need. Amen, guys. Bye-bye.